All right. I'm going to just let it rip here. Okay, game time. I'm just I'm just going to, as I'm watching San Francisco, still lighting up the Dallas Cowboys. And this shirt is quite fitting. It's quite fitting. Okay. It says, are you trying to piss me off? And the Dallas Cowboys have pissed me off. My birthday is in two days. I am 58 years old. And I feel like I just aged another 10 years. There, everybody, of course, pointing at the quarterback. And Dak played like ass, ass tonight. I ain't going to lie. I'm doing the walk of shame right now. But if you're going to tell me that anybody right now out there with the way San Francisco has literally lit our ass up, and they have lit our ass up in every phase of the game. They punt the ball. They get us within the five-yard area. Look at it. And every time driving. we make contact, they are literally carrying us for another four yards. Our driving. defense couldn't do anything. If anything, Jim Mora is completely right. What happened was we couldn't block anybody, we couldn't tackle anybody, we couldn't catch the football, we couldn't do anything. The coaches couldn't coach, the play calling sucks. I still don't understand when you are behind, and here it is, you are close to scoring. Now we got Donovan Wilson down. You are close to scoring. It's third down and four. You have not been able to run the damn ball all night, and you're going to run a sweep? Against a team that has been fired up and living in your backfield? No, I'm sorry. Mike McCarthy, you were ass-ass tonight. You were ass-ass. Defense, uh, you know, I, I thought for sure we had some big guys that were going to help us in the middle. We got run on. We got punk. We got bitch. I am embarrassed right now watching my team. My quarterback, 153 yards, one TD, three interceptions. That's ass ass. Shady, have fun with this. My running back, Tony Pollard, getting ten million dollars, eight carries, twenty nine yards, three point six yards a carry. Ass ass. My offensive line finally being whole together. I don't know what whole means right now. I guess whole means we're just not going to make any damn holes for the running backs to run because there were no holes. The only holes it seems to be were when you were pass blocking and the 49ers were able to get upfield. This was a complete ass whipping by the San Francisco 49ers. They came in, they pumped your ass, they bitch slapped you, they kicked your teeth in, they did everything. Thing. And I drank the Kool-Aid and believed that maybe we had a chance in this game. That maybe Dak Prescott getting pissed would be the thing. And you know what? We, as a team, fucked around and found out we ain't ready to be an elite team. Terrence Parsons, Micah Parsons' brother, put it right. I'm sick of this shit. I am ready to tear everything up. Fire the coach, fire the GM, bring in real people, and let them do their damn job. I'm sick of being them boys. I am sick and tired of being hopeful that this year is going to be the year. This shit has really just gotten up under my skin. Eagles, congratulations, you're 5-0. You are a hell of a lot better team than we are right now. San Francisco, you look like the best team in football. Congratulations. Jason... Unfortunately, this will not be a goldfish moment where I will forget this because this is going to leave a bad taste in my mouth for a long, long freaking time. And I hope that every single Dallas Cowboy player feels like shit for the performance that they put on on Sunday night football in front of everybody that you literally made every single pundit out there that has been trashing you, punking you, saying that you are worthless pieces of garbage, correct. Now, I am a Dallas Cowboy fan. I have been one for too long, and I'm too damn old turning 58 to find a new team. I'm stuck with you. You are stuck with me. And damn it, I'm tired of this shit. I'm sick of this shit. You cannot 
think that the bravado, the trash talking, the Sweden boys, and just show up and people are going to bow down to you because they're not. If anything, you are bringing their best game to your ass every single week because you are the rich kids. You know, got the great stadium, the great practice the facility. You're the ones always being talked you know, about. Jerry and so Jones guess what? Jerry the poor like kids Jimmy who have had it hard, who have to fight for yeah, scraps, have like come you. in there and they kicked your teeth in and oh, took yeah, your damn yeah, bite. Incredible. Yeah, exactly. And if you guys don't realize this shit, if you don't wake up, this shit can go downhill real quick. Now, you got a chance because the good thing about freaking football is it is a week-to-week league. I saw Josh Allen look like ass-ass this week against the Jazz after looking like world beaters the week before against Miami. And Miami, of course, looking like ass-ass against them after looking like the greatest team of all time against the Miami Dolphins. The NFL is a week-to-week league. This does not end the season. But if you continue to do the same shit like you're doing right now, it will end the season. Now, tomorrow morning, when you wake up sore, because I know they kicked that ass, I'll see you later, DMA. Your ass is going to be sore tomorrow. It's going to be sore. You're going to be hurt. Understand, take every single lump, every single bruise, every little ache and pain that you had and turn it into something because you have to man the F up. I cannot take this bullshit and I said I was not going to lose it I said I wasn't going to lose it but I just had to lose it sorry forgive me my 58th year on this planet and damn it looked like crap do you have anything to add to that Brian anything Total <laughs> ass whipping. I, I, I thought the 49ers would play well on their side. I didn't think they would be nervous. Uh, <laughs> and for me, yeah. I, I have to give the Michael Parsons is only one quarterback heard. Yeah. 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 Only one. Yeah, he, he, he just out doing podcasts yeah. all together. Yeah. Evaluating football teams. Because he's like, every time Michael Parsons does a podcast, his play on the field declines. Yeah. When you're talking about the really top Nothing. Nobody. In the league right uh-huh. now, hey. Nobody. Every time they're on the pivot, after mm-hmm. this, after we play the, game, the next game, we all deal with what they've got. I mean, it's the truth. And until tonight, the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, the, 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 the statistics. 